you can either set up or buy a company. What's best to do? In my opinion, it's definitely cheaper and faster to buy a shelf company because the regular process to set it up requires you to write a notary deed to get that notarized, get it to the Chamber of Commerce, and then if you need the activation of your company to start trading, you might need certain authorization, which can be granted by local authorities or national authorities. So the process takes a little bit of time. If you buy a company, that's much faster because A, the company is already active, B, all the authorization requirements have already been done, C, it is possible that accounts have been filed properly. So you just buy that and you're ready to go. And how to buy that? Well, if you have a digital ID, you can do that with a local tax account. And this can be done remotely as long as you are connected to the internet. So in less than 24 hours, you can get the new company and you only pay 200 euros registered tax compared to 500 more if you decide to set up the company. So this is cheaper and that's faster. However, there are other things you must be aware of. So you are also buying credit rating. So if the company has been active for a while, there's a credit rating. Just like for individuals, the same thing happens to companies. So it might be easier and faster to access to credit. And on top of that, you can use the shelf company to be granted a visa. In fact, if the company already filed three accounts, then you can apply for a business visa as long as you are a managing director. In that case, you don't even need to buy that. You need to be in the managing director position, but normally you want to be that in your own company. And another fast way to get into the markets is to buy a new company instead of establishing a new one because you already have everything set up. However, you must be extremely cautious and careful on what to buy because if you set up a brand new company, there are no third parties claim, there are no taxes in arrears, there are no problems with local tax authorities and national tax authorities. However, if you decide to buy a company, I strongly advise you to get the right due diligence because you must be aware of what you're going to buy and what's the actual cost of the company.